Hello everybody and uh, welcome back. Again, my name is Steven and I am work for MisfitPixGallery.com. Today in Photoscape I'm going to show you a different type of thing. So when you, want, when you come in and you push editor, you select your file, just like always, and you push object right down at the bottom. There's four different types. There's home, object, crop, and tools. So put, push on object. Object brings you up a whole bunch of different objects. So what you can actually do is you can input photos and images to the clipboard. Let's go like with a photo. I'm just going to go with uh, this one. There you go. These are now actually overlapped. And what I'm actually able to do is turn this one down. I'm going to turn this right down. So there you have it. If you bring down the occupancy, it's more of a transparency. So that's just basically of how transparent you want it to be. This is how it all works. So let's say I want to go with that. I can also change it. Side, whoop, whoop, mm. There we go. I'm actually able to change exactly where I want it to be. So like I can put it all over the place. This is what I am going to do. That one actually doesn't work that way. Hmm. So I'm going to push resize. So if you push resize, it brings you up with another, another window. So I'm going to bring this down completely a lot just because I do not need this large of a photo hanging out. So I'm going to bring this one down to about mm, 2,500. There you go. See, notice on how it has changed its size. I'm still able to toggle on and off how transparent I want this photo to be. So I'm going to call this. I'm actually able to inch it just a little bit by a little bit from the top left and I'm actually able to bring it down like quite a bit. So there you go. So when you're finished and you want it to exactly be right where you want it to be, push OK. And then you're actually still able to move this around. I'm still able to make this smaller and to make this larger, but however, I'm even able to turn it around just like that. But unfortunately, the only thing is I can no longer um, select as to how I want it to be. I can continue to add photos and layers right over top of each other up to five. And then that's how this all works. That's how that works. So this is your f this is exactly what you want. Just push save. I'm going to push undo because that's not at all what I wanted. I'm able to actually add like icons and like clip art to my photos. So there's all sorts of different ones. There's like cartoons, face makeups, um, hearts, pencils, all sorts of stuff. Whatever, whatever you appreciate, eh, it goes exactly the way you want it. So here, I'm going to go with logos. None of them are actually any. So I've already pushed a glove. Let's put a glove on. I'm going to pull it over here. And then I can pop it right there. And bam. So that's exactly how that one goes. And once, once you click anywhere else other than the clip art itself, it is now safe. This is exactly where it will be. So I'm just going to push undo for that. Uh, using a text box. Using a text box is pretty cool because then you're able to uh, put in just basic, basically the way that you want it to be. So it's like, hello. Um, click that there. Bring it around. There you go. That's all how that works. Just basically when using objects, you're just putting layers on top of your photo that are completely not edits. Remember that. They're not edits, they're just add-ons. So I can even like put boxes in and stuff. I can draw a box right there and I can fill it with something. I can draw another box right there or like right there. This is the way that we're you're actually able to like and put things inside of these boxes. Uh, you can actually change the type 
of the way that you want it, the style. You can change the colors. Um, you can change the outlines as well. I'm going to take the outline away. And there you go. So that is how that works. Occupancy is exactly how it should be. Just like turn it down. Hasn't actually changed any much. Oh, okay. So just turn your occupancy down, put it out in a little. See, notice on how it's barely there. That's because I've turned down the occupancy basically to zero and kept the thickness at the same amount. So I'm just going to do all, undo all, that all disappears. I'm able to do different types of boxes. I'm even able to do like a 10 pointed star. Let's go with it in something totally ridiculous, like 22 pointed star. So I'm going to stick that right there. And then it all fills in, just like that. Uh, let's go with something else like mirror. So there you go. Put a hexagon in there. No, 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 no. Put a circle up there. Another square right there. So again, we're just going to go undo all with all those. Uh, using quotations. Quotations are basically just like using the exact same sort of thing as clip art except this is called symbols so we can just totally select exactly what you want to have so I'm gonna say a wedding bell we're gonna make it a wedding bell it's gonna be green I'm gonna move it up here and again you're just able to place it wherever you want it to be and then click somewhere else and bam that is your solid spot so that's how exact that's all how objects works Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll have more work for you.